السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته in the year 1992 also it was for يعني implementing the vision or the plan of the Islamic leaf uh, widening it is scope and opening offices in different parts in Europe such as France, uh, Belgium, Holland and uh, Germany and uh, we chosen very very talented young people who knew the who actually knew, uh, knew the country very well had uh, spoken the speak the spoken language extremely well the german or french or other languages and been connected to the grassroots community on the muslim side and to the uh, mainstream community as well of the country in this area some of them are Uh, may Allah bless their life forever, inshallah. Rashid al who started Islamic Relief, or it's now called the Secure Islamic in France, uh, in the basement, uh, in uh, President Wilson uh, Street in uh, Paris. Uh, then uh, Dr. Ali Hassanin in Munich, in Mention. Uh, Dr. Jamal Zahri in uh, Brussels and Amsterdam, which is in uh, Holland and Belgium as well. Uh, those individuals were very credible, uh, very intelligent, very committed to the idea, the idea of the humanitarian, social, developmental work. That they loved it, so they believed in the idea of Islamic leave. That's why some of them sacrificed their jobs and their lives and their time to be able to build such organization in this country. The vision at that time was actually to try to increase the capacity of the fundraising capacity of Islamic Leaf by opening as much, as many as fundraising offices in Europe to raise the fund for Sudan, to raise the fund for Bangladesh, to raise the fund for Central Asian Republic, as well as other places that Islamic Leaf was trying to, to raise fund for. Uh, this uh, era of the 90s at the time, uh, we were surrounded by the bad and ugly scenes of Bosnia, but through our uh, uh, offices in different cities, different countries, uh, the country directors, such as I mentioned, in there, were very, 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 very careful of Yeah, and we're talking about the issue of Bosnia, which is the conflict between uh, the Serb, which are uh, Orthodox, and the Croat, which are Catholic, and the uh, Bosnian, which are uh, Muslims. In an area of the mosaic of Muslims and Christians living in different European countries. So, not to stir any problem, but to accommodate the humanitarian issue and sell it to the public so the public can respond to such an issue. So I thank those people who are very talented in uh, being able to uh, bring the humanitarian issue only not the political or the other issues of what's happening in the Balkan at that time. At the time also, it was a time of more free movement in the area, and more civil liberty space was given to most of Uh, the organization, not only to the Muslim one, but to the other ones. And there was a lot of activities being done uh, in the area, actually, uh, with the diaspora community, with the local community, and with the mainstream community. And uh, we also tried to open another office in Italy, but Italy community at the time was very, very minimum. Yani it did not bring any fruit. Even also, we thought about opening another office in uh, Vienna, which is in uh, uh, Austria, but actually, this actually was still uh, not, uh, the committee was not developed at that time. But the vision was for these four offices to be uh, uh, run and actually directed and uh, uh, governed by Islamic Leaf uh, headquarters in Birmingham. So the relationship between us and them was actually full support, logistic support, translation, printing, uh, guidance, uh, projects, everything, everything, even the budget and others used to uh, transfer it from 
uh, the HQ to the local workers here, and actually the design of everything. So we were actually, while we were actually trying to respond to big uh, issues, like as the Bangladesh flooding and the Bosnia crisis and others, we were trying to actually support those new emerging offices, alhamdulillah, at that time. And the spirit was extremely high. Those people I mentioned the names have got a big, big number of volunteers to uh, work tirelessly day and night for the sake of God, for the sake of Allah, and to help the poor people through the vehicle called Islamic Relief. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In Iraqum, we'll see you in another uh, uh, journey or another episode talking about next one will be about 1993 in the United Nations. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.